Hidden Water Source on the Moon Welcome back to Science Today. In today's episode, we're diving into the mystery of water on the moon and the groundbreaking discovery of water in glass beads on the lunar surface. Let's get started. Part 1, Previous Studies Over the years, researchers have found evidence of water on the moon. In the 1990s, NASA's lunar orbiters discovered water inside the moon's permanently shadowed polar craters. Later, a reanalysis of samples from the Apollo missions detected hydrogen in the lunar soil. And in 2020, the infrared telescope SOFIA confirmed the presence of water on the moon, even outside the dark craters. Despite these findings, the origin and behavior of lunar water remained unclear. Scientists knew that water molecules formed on the moon's surface. When hydrogen atoms from the solar wind bonded with oxygen molecules in lunar regolith, some of this water evaporated when the moon's top layers were warmed by sunlight. However, during the lunar night, the surface rehydrated too quickly for solar wind to be the only source of this water. This puzzle led researchers to search for other potential sources of lunar water. Part 2, The New Discovery The recent analysis of lunar samples brought back to Earth by China's Chang'e-5 probe provided a breakthrough. Researchers found that the moon's surface is covered with minuscule glass beads, which contain a substantial amount of water. These beads formed over billions of years as soil ejected during asteroid impacts cooled and fell back to the lunar surface. The study suggests that these glass beads serve as a hidden reservoir for water on the moon. During the cool and dark lunar night, water is readily released from the beads into the dried-out surface soil. The beads can store a significant amount of water, with researchers estimating up to 600 trillion pounds of water trapped in the top 40 feet of the lunar surface. To understand how water is created on the moon's surface, let's look at these three steps. One, an asteroid strikes the lunar surface, creating glass beads from the extremely high temperature. Two, solar winds bring hydrogen atoms to the moon, where they are irradiated and combine with elements inside the beads. 3. The beads slowly work deeper into the surface over time, forming a potential reservoir of water for astronauts. The discovery of water in these glass beads has significant implications. For future space exploration, the water could potentially be extracted for human consumption, breathable air, and even rocket fuel production on the moon's surface. This would greatly reduce the need for resources to be transported from Earth to the moon making long-term lunar missions and exploration of more distant destinations more feasible. That wraps up today's episode of Science Today. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating discovery of water in lunar glass beads and its implications for future space exploration. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting scientific discoveries. Until next time.